Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this vintage Christmas scene old truck with a Christmas tree and lights. We're going to be working on a 12 by 16 canvas. Uh, it's primed with white gesso, one coat. I let it dry before beginning. I'm going to use a blending brush. Um, you can use any blending brush you want. This is just for the background. Now I've got gray and I've got titanium white and I've also got some sap green on my palette. I'm going to just create sort of a big triangle here down at the bottom that'll be the snowy road that the truck is going to be on and then I'm going to take my gray and blend it all around for the sky in the background I'm going to tap in for some shadows and um, sort of piles of snow here in the foreground a little bit and shadows that are falling from the trees above now what I'm going to do is take some white and I'm going to blend this in with the gray because I know it's going to dry a little bit darker and I want it to look a little bit softer so I'll do this, I'll cover this all up, and then we'll come in with the next step. Okay, so I'll finish that first step. I'm gonna take a large fan brush and I'm gonna pull in to my sap green, load both sides. I'm even gonna pick up a little bit of my gray and mix that in too. So that's not gonna to be too, too dark. And I'm just gonna start by pulling and flicking up a little bit to create an instant forest back there and make it look a little bit thicker and denser. And I'm gonna pull up for a tree trunk, just pulling up a skinny line. And then I'm gonna tap side to side back and forth, kind of just rocking my brush, tapping, making smaller ones on the top of the tree, just using the very corner or the tip of my brush. And I'm going to, I'm going to create a few different trees, different sizes on the left and on the right. And then I'll even come in with one that's going to be on a slant and that's going to be the one that's in the back of the truck. Okay, so as I finish up these trees here, this is the first coat, the base coat. And again, it's just a mixture of that sap green. You can use any green that you want. I wanna use more of a muted, um, warmer green. And now I'm gonna take a clean fan brush. This one's a little bit smaller, and it's, a little, it's got a little bit more give to the bristles. I think they're more synthetic. And I'm taking some white with a little bit of gray. So just toning my white with gray, and I'm gonna start tapping over those branches, not completely covering up that green that we have, of course, because we want to be able to see those trees, but we're just adding some frost and snow to all of these branches. So I'll do this on all of the trees 
and then we'll come in with the next step. All right, so we have our snow covered trees now, and I'm going to take a liner brush. You can use a round brush, anything with a small tip on the end, to apply a white dot for wherever you want to have some pretty twinkling lights on your trees. So I'm doing them very random so it doesn't look like they're too uniform. I'm just putting them sporadically all over the trees. And you may have to load your brush quite a few times. You don't want to push. Resist the urge to push with your brush. Otherwise, you'll get, um, if you do, you'll get a, more of a line. Um, you won't get a nice round a circle or that kind of blobby shape that we want to have for our lights. So just keep getting paint on the very tip of your brush so you have a little ball of, of white paint to work with there each time you add a light. So I'm just going to go over some of these small branches in the tops of the trees, adding a little bit more snow that was a, kind of hard to do with a fan brush. Um, it's not terribly important. You don't have to do this. It was just something that I wanted to do. Okay, so now that we've got all those lights on the tree, I just feel like I need to come in here and add some more of my sap green with my gray. I just want this to be a little bit darker and denser um, and fuller looking. So I'm also gonna go right down almost to the bottom on the left side, adding some more branches. And then I'll add snow over top of those and then continue with little twinkling lights. Then begin the next step.
Okay, so just adding a little bit more snow and some lights here and there. I'm now gonna take my hair dryer, dry this off. As I'm drying it, I'm gonna push gently and smush a little bit of that thick, thick white paint I've got on there off, just so that um, I can get more of a softer, mistier look and then add the um, leftover white that all that white that I had there was a bit too thick so instead of wiping on a towel I just added little bits with my finger to the sky so it looks like falling snowflakes. Now I've got a small flat brush and I'm taking my crimson red. You can use any shade of red that you want. In fact you can paint your tree any color you want. I think the red is very Christmassy of course and so nice with the green. So I'm just going to take a small flat brush my red with a little bit of sap green because they're complementary colors instead of taking black I wanted to use those colors together to create darker shades so I'm just going to cut in with um, the lights and little patches of red and then I'm going to and I'm not worrying too much about making this a perfect it's a piece of artwork it's not a photograph and as long as it's got a lot of character and it gives you that kind of old-fashioned vintage Christmas feeling that's all you need so don't don't worry about um, uh, creating your um, track perfectly you guys and measuring and all that you definitely don't need to do that so once I'm done this step I'm gonna switch over to using my Mars black you can use any black that you want and I'm gonna come in with darker lines on the bottom and the front tires and again just keeping it really simple uh, my truck has a little bit of a slope to it that tends to happen when I'm filming because I don't want to be right in front of the canvas But in this case, I kind of like it. I think it has even more character So I'm going to take my black with just a little bit of gray and I'm going to come in with my lights and more um, shadow on the bottom and those tires and we're just blocking in um, for shapes subtle shapes and keeping it really kind of impressionistic and very loose so no matter what level of painting and skill that you're at you can follow along and you can definitely paint this guys don't be intimidated at all and what I'm going to do is add those tires and I'm going to line them up underneath each of the headlights I'll add a light shadow in between the tires just right underneath the truck and when I add a shadow it's not going to be black right it's going to be kind of a mid-tone so not the lightest gray not black somewhere kind of in, in the middle and you want to have it a little bit transparent um, so keep that in mind when you're adding your shadows they shouldn't really be solid they should they are just they are just shadows so they should be a little bit see-through and the way to do that is use a little bit less paint and have a damp brush not dripping wet of course now what I'm doing is pulling very lightly a little bit of gray and white over the front um, bar here right above the tires it's shiny and there's also a little bit of snow on there so I'll just continue building this up adding more light and dark and then creating some snow and I'm going to use thick amounts of titanium white on my brush to make it look like there's so much snow and this truck is just driving through a snowstorm and you just get that real winterland wintry Christmassy feel so I'll come in here with a little bit of my red and I'm also going to be incorporating my neon red my luminous neon red by Holbein to really make parts of this truck pop and that'll be a little bit later on I'll come in with the windows and the top of the truck that's going to be covered in snow as well for that I'm going to be using kind of like a watered down um, gray and if it doesn't show up enough against the background then I'll add a little bit of my black just to tone that and make it stand out so I'm just going to cut across kind of in a rectangle here just adding a little bit of black to my gray and then thick amounts of snow on the top and along the sides and partially going up on the windshield too they're going to be on an angle on the side those windows so a little bit diagonal and then in the center you're going to do a line that's straight up and down and then just piling some snow on the top I'm not pushing hard at all with my brush I'm being really really light with my pressure just dabbing tapping 
pulling and dragging that paint around. And I'm gonna have some snow right on the tops of the lights and on the hood of the truck. I'm going to take more of my cadmium red. I've got a little bit of white on my brush. This is just going to make this red pop out even more. The first base of red that I used had a little bit of that sap green in it, remember, just to um, tone it so we have that nice base layer for our shadows. So slowly I'll be building up this red and at the end I'll be using, or close to the end of this video, I'll be using that neon red and that will really, really create um, a nice cheerful pop. Of red in this truck. It's one of my favorite colors to use and brands of paint. I love the the neon hole being luminous acrylics. Um, you can find them on Amazon and you can also get them at, at certain fine art stores. I know Michaels doesn't have them. I really hope that they get them soon. Um, anyways, I'm just going to continue here with the truck, adding a little bit more snow on the very bottom bar and then coming in with some um, darker layers here before I add the white um, bars in front that are going to be covered in snow as well. I'm going to take a little bit of watered down black or dark gray on my flat brush and just add some shadow lines to make part of this windshield show up a little bit more so we can have like differentiate the snow from the windows and just we just need to have a little bit more um, detail here but not too much so don't worry it's really really easy and then just come right above with more titanium white We'll get a nice balance there of light and shadow. Okay, so I just softened with light gray inside the windshield. I'm going to cut across here again and just define this line a little bit better. And then I'm going to start coming in at the bottom here. So I'm just very, very lightly, barely touching that canvas with white and making it look patchy. So it just looks like little bits of snow are on there. And I'll start my shadow under the truck and just a little hint of a shadow off to the side on either side of the tires. So I'm gonna play around with this a little bit. It was a bit too dark and thick. I'm just gonna uh, work some of the paint off after I apply it, um, just by washing my brush off, drying it, leaving it a little bit moist so that I can manipulate, manipulate that paint around a little bit and take some of it off. Now we're left with more of a realistic, see-through, transparent, softer shadow. Okay, so it's time for the next step. I've got all my favorite fun neon colors here, all my luminous colors. You don't need all of these, you guys. Just use any pretty colors that you want to choose for your pretty lights on your trees. Um, I just really love these colors. When they're mixed with white, you get such a glow. It's very realistic to uh, twinkling lights. So I'm going to um, just add a little bit more light and shadow uh, around my... Um, lights and the tires here and then I'm going to start coming in with my lights so for my lights I'll be using um, a liner brush I'll also be using a very small round brush that's got a little bit of a pointier tip on the end of it um, I find that a lot easier to um, work with for the lights the round brush is nice because of course it's got more of a round shape than the liner brush does but if you want to add just a little 
touch of white inside of your lights at the end, the liner brush is great for that because it's so, so small. But again, it's, it's personal preference. It's whatever you guys feel comfortable with and whatever brush that you want to use. I'm going to come across the top here and just add a little bit more of my sap green so I can um, see where that the top of the truck ends and where that um, tree is just to tell them apart a little bit better and then add more of a line and shadow here on the windshield. Okay, so it's time to come in with the layers of white, just the front bars here on the front end of the truck, and I'm just using my flat brush again, and super, super easy, you guys can do this, just little lines with white, and if you're not totally confident with yours, don't worry, because we're going to put a big fat Christmas wreath hanging in front of it, so that will distract from any imperfections that you think you might have. Okay, so for the next few minutes, I'm going to be reapplying, re-highlighting, just adding titanium white. I'm going to add more light to the snow in the foreground, at the base of the trees, uh, on the top, the hood of the truck, and I'm going to make sure this is all done before I start my next step. So this is just going to be for the next few minutes, guys, and then we'll start adding our pretty lights to our trees. Okay, so with my little liner brush here, I've got my luminous yellow. It's a warm yellow. It looks like it's orange, and um, you can definitely use orange and white for this if you don't have this shade. And I'm just going to add some nice uh, warmth to these headlights. Okay. 
Okay, once I've done this, I'm going to go ahead and add this same color on some of the lights on the trees. So just do it sporadically. You don't have to think too, too much about it, guys. Just dab wherever you want to, maybe two or three on each tree, um, depending on what colors you want to add to your trees. I like a combination, a good mixture of all the colors. I think they're all so pretty together. And again, that's just the luminous yellow, that warm yellow and titanium white. I'm now gonna take my cool luminous yellow um, and take a little bit of white with that as well and start making some lights with this color. I'll then go on and use each one of my neon luminous colors and add more and more lights. Well, I think this painting's really starting to come to life now. I'm really excited. Um, the front of the truck, the red part is pretty much dried now and I'm able to add my last layer of red here. So I'm taking my neon red, my neon luminous red. I've got quite a bit, it's quite thick on the end of my brush and I'm just putting it on, not blending, just applying it and leaving it. I'm not covering up all of the other layers that we have underneath. I want a little bit of each shade of those reds to show this really makes your um, painting look 3D when you do this, so you want to have all those mid-tones and lights and darks going on. I'm now going to add this color to the some of the lights on the trees, incorporate that of course, all my colors, and I've also got turquoise too, I forgot to mention, I decided to add turquoise. Um, so just go crazy with whatever colors, how many colors that you guys want to use. You could just do blue and white lights if you want, you know, or just red lights, whatever. It's it's still going to look pretty, guys. Um, definitely encourage you to do your own thing with this and take it in your own direction if you want. So you'll probably notice throughout the video, whatever's left in my brush, I'm going to just pull it out and dry brush little hints of those colors at the base of the trees. I think this looks really, really pretty and adds even more magic to this painting. Once I do this, I'm going to come in between those white bars in the front and add some Mars Black.
And I also want to add some more depth to this tree, so I'm taking a combination of black and a little bit of sap green. Just a little bit here. Less is more. This just sets this tree more in the foreground and puts the other ones kind of out of focus. And I've got my round brush. Again, you can use any brush that you want. You can use a filbert brush too, that would work quite nicely. And I'm just taking a sap green with black and I'm creating a messy looking circle. So you're just tapping to create that texture of those little branches and little pine needles. Um, so I'm just going to tap quite thick with the paint. I don't want it to look see-through. Okay, so now I'm going to take my red and I've got crimson red here. You can use cadmium, scarlet, whatever red that you want. I'm going to just create a basic, very simple bow here. I want the red to um, sort of match the truck. I think it looks really nice. And then what I'm going to do is go over top and um, add a little bit of that neon red like I did with a truck. Once I've done this, I'm going to apply lights to this wreath the same way that I applied the lights to the trees. So I think that wreath looks really pretty and just about finishes this painting off, but there's a few more things that I want to do. Um, you don't have to do this, it's optional, but I really do want to make this tree, uh, the truck and the tree look more like it's in the foreground. I want it to stand out a bit more, so I want to make the background a little out of focus. What I'm going to do is make sure it's dry, so you want to take a hair dryer or wait a few hours for it to dry off. Take a dry brush with white and just go over so it's still going to be see-through. You'll see all those lights, the color, and the trees, but it's just going to be like a, uh, it'll look like fog or mist. It makes them a little bit um, less in, in the foreground, sets them in the background, and that will make our, our truck and our tree in the foreground here stand out even more and look really 3D. Add a little bit of white, a little bit of snow, hint of frost on that tree there. And I'm going to go over to my old toothbrush that I use for creating snow in paintings. I'm going to get it really wet and mix some white paint on the end of it and just press, pull, and flick with my finger to create natural snow all over. So you want to put it in front of the truck so it just looks like the snow is falling in front of us and everywhere in the painting. And then I'm going to come in and add another... Um, a layer of this the red here. I've got my neon red on this bow, and I just love how this looks So I'm just going to go around the trees and add uh, a few more 
colors and lights and just sort of detail all around wherever I think I need more color, light and shadow. Um, and I'm also going to add some more color to the snow on the ground. And then I'm going to move on to my next step and that's going to be a really pretty glowing twinkling star on the top of the tree that's in the box of our truck. Okay, so I'm going to begin the star on the top of the tree now, and I'm going to use my uh, luminous yellow and white, and I'm just going to start from the center, pull out and flick little lines. You can do as many or as few as you want for this. It depends on how twinkly you want your star to be. I'll dab just straight white inside. And then I'm going to come in with a few other colors just to accent and pick up the different colors on the lights of the trees all around. So a little bit of pink and I'm adding a bit of white to my brush each time I do this so it's very soft. And you can see I've got yeah my pink in there, um, a little bit of turquoise. So whatever colors you want to add you can. I just think it looks really pretty and is a nice addition to all the other lights and trees. So I'll just add the finishing touches to this painting and I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, this is going to be in my playlist full of Christmas and winter themed paintings. So have a look through and you'll see lots of things that are sure to inspire you and motivate you. Plus a few special hand painted Christmas ornaments that I've done for, I've been painting them for over 12, 12 years now. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment below if you did. Subscribe to my channel for more and give this video a like. Happy painting and I'll see you next time everybody. Bye!